Hello, pretty. Who is this one again? On another toaster. toaster. And I've been to your bank on a couple of occasions. I should tell you that I know who you are. Who, who are, are you? you? Don't this song. Uh, by the way, my name is Barrister Oscar Bidi. And yours? I'm Judith. Oh, nice to meet you, Judith. I know that you've been to the bank every night you have come there, there so. I, I think we should meet soon, you know, talk business over a cocktail, yeah? Is it necessary? And um, feel free to call me anytime. Mm. Nice, nice card. card. If only I was Okay? Okay. And Judith, did I tell you that my second name is Jude? Eh? Uh, <laughs> and so what? Oh, <laughs> I see. Yeah, um, I can see you're working out. It's good for the body and uh, the beauty. <laughs> oh, this is what like. Thank you. Don't forget to call. Feel free anytime. <sighs> See you soon then. Bye. Who was that? Nah, one of my customers. Is he a prospective? Uh, he's my own prospect. Rich enough to invest 50 million naira? Madam, he is my prospect. Uh uh. Hey, what's the big deal now? I just want someone to invest. I beg you, that's your target that is insanely outrageous. Okay, seriously, I mean, he's, he's alright, but he's not looking to try anything outside the box, so just 
Okay. You can keep your prospects. <laughs> I'll get by anyway. Let them out. See these ones? Beautiful. Oh. Phil, I really have to run now. Uh -oh. ah. See, I have a business meeting with one of these all these small, small, rich old men in Lagos. I'm, ah, babe, I'm looking for investment. Oh. And all I need to do is just smile and smoother their old dying ego. And voila, account is open. But don't worry, I'll stop by the house later. Make sure you come home. I will. See you later. Madam Walker. Bye. Bye. Oh uh, yeah, because I'm good, just, uh, you know, feeling like a little complex, that's all. Okay. Thank you. All right then, that'll be good. Yeah, bye. What took you so long, Oscar? Uh, yes, I was held up by his, like, traffic. Is that so? Yeah. You want a drink? Uh, no, thanks. So what's the deal you spoke about over the phone? Oh, I have some um, foreigners who are interested in one of my properties. And as we speak, they are willing to pay in for. Oh, really? Which one of your properties is that? Oscar, I did my homework, pretty good homework on the steel business. And uh, I've come to find out that as we speak, the steel business is dwindling on a global market and giving room for uh, the steady and well-embraced corrugate fiber, which in my opinion, is a worthy investment. So in the light of that, I have decided to truncate the renovations and repairs going on at my plant and then chew off the property to the highest bidder. And these Italians are talking well. Mm, okay. Okay. 2.5 billion Naira, Oscar. <laughs> 2.5 billion. Quite a huge sum, right? <sighs> Way better than the offer the guys that you brought the other time made. Obviously. Right. Oscar, I will need you to do the necessary paperwork and ensure that all the documents that we need is ready. By weekend, these guys will be coming into the country first thing next week. And uh, I want them to know that we're ready when they get here to see your business. Okay. Do you have an opinion, Barrister? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, what opinion can I have? Uh, it's just that. Um, you know, I will be cut off on the percentage side, which is... <laughs> I knew you were going to talk about that. Because huh? I know what that means to you and what it would mean to your career in its entirety. I mean, 10% of 2.5 billion naira. It's quite a huge sum if you ask me. Oscar, you know I take care of you, right? Uh, yeah, you do. And I also believe in the policy of balanced equation. You eat, I eat. And that is why I have decided to give you 5%. <laughs> oh, well, given the fact that it's no longer your deal, this is me being nice to you. Oh. <laughs> wow, Rondo, I, I, I am grateful. I, I would never have, I mean, 10%. 10 um, five percent, ten percent. There's, there's no difference. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, Rondo. 
What can I say? I, I will get the papers ready. I. <laughs> I truly really appreciate this. I will call you at night. I'm yes, sure. I... <laughs> Have yourself a great day. We too. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes one doesn't know why one does certain things. Like helping the poor and helping the needy. But it pays off in the end. And sometimes helps to cover your ass in places that needs to be covered. <laughs> I'm Barrister Oscar. A typical example. And in spite of his intelligence and brilliance as a young lawyer, he still lacks the intellectual smartness and psychological thermostat that has helped take on schooled ones like me to this level where I can conveniently let go of a little percentage that is capable of changing and transforming the lives of the likes of him. I cannot explain it myself, but that's just the way it's meant to be, I guess. For amongst us, we will always have the power. How can they turn off the oxygen? Sheila, I don't know, but you have to tell the doctor something. What well, is the first time I'm owing him? They can't turn it off. Sheila, I don't know. I, I, I thought I was going to get something today. That was why I said today. But business wasn't good today. No, I'll get it. Okay. Okay, let me talk to him. Hey. Yes, sir. Um, sir. Hang on. Hang on, sir. Hang on. Slow down. Sir, please. Please, I promise I will get the money. I'm promising you personally I will get the money to you. Tomorrow, just give me till tomorrow. No, I said that because I thought I was going to sell some things today, but I, I didn't. I didn't sell. Business didn't move. And doctor, please, doctor, please. I've never owed you. Please. Please. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise tomorrow. I promise, doctor. I swear, tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Don't even ask after your girl. No. Hey, girl. How are you, darling? Hmm. Huh. What's going on here? Oh, the furniture. Judy, this is like three months old. You're so buried in work. Every time I say come to the house, you won't come. I got this like three months ago now. This is old. Where did you get money to do all of this? <laughs> From the shop. Business has been good, my darling. The boutique is selling light. I keep telling you now. Let's go and do this club business. You said no. You must use our business admin uh, degree. So, well done with your MBA, NCCANC. Phew. <laughs> business. Oh. Are you for real? Like, don't start.
What is that? <laughs> Tell me now. <laughs> Where did you get all this money from? Oh, I'm serious now. I, all my new arrivals are gone. I have to go and restock. New arrivals? Yeah. With this wardrobe, the bed, the wallpaper. <laughs> Judith, trust me, this business is better than you think it is. That not only am I selling, I have like cele celebrity clients that do say 150, 200k a month. And it's almost at, like I'm on, on, on a retainer. It's it's crazy. Business is good, my sister. All okay. of this from your store. All really? my new arrivals are gone, Judith. I have to travel again to buy things. I'm telling you. <laughs> Babe, I'm happy for you. Uh, thank you. Is there, is there more there? Oh! <laughs> Give me a job. This is serious. <laughs> To be you're the one that wants to work in bank. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, my I'm darling. So <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Huh. You and your crazy target. My dear. Have they let you rest in that your bank? I wish. Oh, God. Don't tell me. They've moved your target again. Oh, you don't want to know. Uh -uh. Why now? When you attain one, they move the target. You attain mm. it, they move the target. I don't understand these people, though. Mm. Don't worry. Very soon, they'll make you empty of the bank. When? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Um, if I forget, how is mom say? She's alright. She's fine. Don't worry, she'll be fine, okay? It's okay. They've started the dialysis, so she'll be fine. Okay. Please. Food, I'm hungry. Uh, I know. Okay, now my problem with you, Judith, is this your love for Pepe? Because by the time I finish cutting the pepper, my nails will begin to hurt and I will not be able to do anything with myself. <laughs> Who's trying to me then? <laughs> Don't even try me. <laughs> It's not about the bank. It's about my own profile. Listen, people who are meeting all these targets, ah, do they have five heads? No, they don't. So I really need to meet that target. Yes. Babe, I'm not joking. I didn't join the bank to be down there. I need to be up there. Yes. But you know me now. You know me. Anything I set my mind on, I must get it. So I need that investor. Yes. Uh, babe, hold on. I have another call. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Yeah, I'll call you. Hello? Alaji? Ranka Didi. Alaji? It's as much important to you as it is to me. Yes. Okay, sir. For sure, Alaji. I'm sure I'll be there before you. It's not a problem. Thank you, Alaji. Sanu, thank you. All right, then. See you. Bye.
I had thrown this card away. Oh yes, Duncan, it, it's done. You know me, I don't believe in half measures. If I would have to get to the end of the world to get what I want, I will go that far as long as I get what I want. The brand is quite important. Oh no, that is fine. Um, tell you what, Duncan, can we talk tomorrow? Yes. We talk tomorrow and then we put a seal on this, okay? That would be great. Thank you. Impressive. <laughs> Impressive, Oscar. This is nice. I like it. You like it? Oh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Neatly put together and well packaged. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you liked it. I like it. So I take it that we are, we're ready for the Italians. I bet we are. Huh? Yes. Okay. Do you want to drink? Oh, no, thanks. What is wrong with you, Oscar? You seem not to drink a lot these days. What's going on? Uh, well, I, I'm trying to cut down on the stress that comes with drinking and, and also keep in shape for marital life. When it comes, if it, if it ever comes. <laughs> I see. <laughs> And talking about marriage, I have been wondering why a rich and wealthy man as you are have decided to live a solitary life. I mean, no domestic hand to help you, no bodyguard save for the couple at the gate. It's strange, I must say. Very strange. Uh, Oscar, you know what they say? A clear conscience fears no accusation. True that. Why should I attract undue attention to myself when I can clearly lead a normal life beneath all the affluence, of course? What do I need security and bodyguards for? Huh? When I can do good all by myself. Sorry, let me take this. Okay. Sure. Hey, Kira. You're here? All right, great. Um, come by the pool side. Um, just by the pool. Yes. Uh, so as I was saying, uh, you know what they say. The guilty are afraid. James Hadley Chase. Yes. Yeah, <laughs>
Hey, babe. How are you? I'm sick. I'd like to introduce you to someone. Hi. Hi. Cleo, meet um, Barista Oscar. Oscar? Yeah. Cleo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, how are you? I'm good. Great. Um, you might have to excuse us for a bit. I will have a short meeting here coming on. But you know your way around the house, so feel yourself in and I'll join you in a bit. Okay. All right. Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you here. You like her? Me? Uh, no, no. Of course not. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> you know, she's one of... Uh, she's one of the easy ladies, you know, that you know, come around to come help me in areas that I need help sometimes. I mean, I'm a man. <laughs> you know what I'm talking sure. about. But I must add, Oscar, that she is quite a charmer in bed. Uh, mm. But I, I, I could, you know, if you like her, I could, you know, make no, it happen. No, 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 that, that's not necessary. And besides, she kind of looked tough and I, I don't like them tough. You don't like them tall? No. Or you like them soft and vulnerable? Uh, well, soft, yes, but no, no, not the vulnerable part, yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. I mean, I could hook you up with one that you would like. You never know. I think I can get that for myself. But I can make it happen. You know I take care of you. <laughs> I need to upgrade my business. My clothing shop needs to be a little bigger. How big? I don't know. I mean, like a multifunctional boutique of sorts. My current space is getting rather too small. Multifunctional boutique. All right. Why don't you do a paperwork on this? Let me see what the actual cost looks like. And then, you know, we take it from there. Seriously? You know, you're such a darling.
second way. Wanna make the world feel the doing better. But deep down, the just pretending, faking. Babes, I beg him. I came to find out. Have you gotten any word from Abuja concerning the Form A? Oh, that. We have five working days left. <sighs> Three days. I just hope it won't take much longer. I hope so too. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm running low on stock. The shippers are already calling. I'm already paying for Dream Ridge. It's. it's not to worry, okay? It will soon be here. Hmm? Hey, but don't you know, you know anybody we can talk to to, uh -huh. to this thing? Cleo, like, even if I have to pay. It doesn't work like that. There's some things I can't do. I can make it worth the person's while, though. Cleo, it doesn't work that way. Oh, Cleo, excuse me. Hello, I... Yeah, this number called me yesterday and I was rather too busy to pick up, so I'm calling to find out who. This is the barrister, right? Yes, I am barrister Oscar and you are? Oh. My name is Judith. Judith, Judith, Judith. Oh, Judith, the pretty banker. <laughs> My God, you you called. I have really been expecting this call. So how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. I actually called you because you told me to call you. Yes, that's, that's good of you. So um, tell me, uh, can, can we have... Um... I'll talk to you later. Bye. Who is that? Oh, some guy I met while jogging. Sound like you're spoiling face. Don't look like you approve of him, do you? <laughs> oh, you're funny. What would someone like me, an aspiring executive marketer, be doing with a barrister? Me that I'm trying to meet a strategic target. What <laughs> <laughs> Something to eat or drink. <sighs> Coffee, tea. Do you have cognac? This morning. How wonderful for Judy to have called me. Hmm. I wish I can see her soon again. Because I really feel something for that lady. If only she can see my heart. 
Seeing her that morning in that tight fitting attire really got my heart racing. I've never really seen her look that attractive. And I guess I'm really falling for her. Now that we have a link up, I have to make my move sooner or later. Hello? Hello, Judith. It's still me, Barrister Oscar. Yeah, I know who's calling. I just discovered I have some free time on my hands, so I'm just wondering if we could, you know, hang out over a coffee, drinks, talk some business. So are you free? Please, I'm busy right now, I'm busy. What is this guy thinking? You just met a girl not long ago and the next thing you're asking her out already? Is it a part of his ideology of whatever he feels he's up to? Oh my god, I'm not a cheap walkover. And the earlier he understands that, the better for him. The next time, I will have to tell him off out rightly. And then, the next thing, the girl comes back you know, with the clothes, and says I should take them and then I should give her, like refund the money to her and keep part of it. Do you understand? Judith, hmm? do you understand? Yeah. Come on now, Judith. I was listening. You were saying something? Yes. Uh -huh. I said, mm -hmm. this girl walks into the store with a guy, right? And the guy buys a lot of things for her. Clothes, shoes, bags, like, a lot of things and it's almost like almost half a million so it's about 460 or thereabouts she, she takes everything both of them go and then we begin to balance our books and you know everything much later she then comes back alone and says that she doesn't really need the clothes and all the shoes and everything i should take the clothes back refund the money but i'll keep some so instead of giving her that 460 i'll give her like maybe 400 and then keep 60k do you understand? Judith Nawao. Sometimes even gisting with you, Seth, is... Judith! Huh? Ugh. The guy came into the store. Yes. Not guy, the girl! Cleo, ah. sorry. Sorry, I was actually listening. Really? Sorry. It's just... Clue, you don't understand. Eh? Is this work? Just look at this. They've given me another target. I haven't even finished with the last one that they gave me. Eh? Hey, I hope I won't die of this walk. Eh? It's so frustrating. How do I meet this huge target now? Eh? Clue. Help me now. Help your friend out. Remember you were telling me something? Eh? That you have this... Rich customers now. We, we, me? When did uh, I tell you that? You were telling me about some celebrity clients that you have. Oh. From those, those money where uh, yes, uh, you yes, understand? Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Now you remember. <laughs> okay. This one is my phone. Eh? Just help me give them this phone so that they can open an account with me. So that they at least need, even if it's half of this target, I don't mind. Please. But um, when you give them, make sure that it is this reference number. One two two nine eight one five. Make sure it's this form before another banker will now come to your office and drop another form. What's eh? that number? It's, what's that number? it's there. It's, you will not know it. It's there. Make sure you just look at it. It ends with one five. Okay. Mm? So you have to now use number to open account. Please now, just help me. Eh? Okay, I will help you. But listen to my gist because I want you to weigh on in on it. Are you sure you help me so, so that I can you know continue this calculation? I will help you now. I will help you. Mm. So, what I was saying was, mm. the girl came into the store with her boyfriend, okay. right? And the guy buys her a lot of things, right? Mm. Right, takes, you know, things in the store and all, and then, after they had gone, we were settled our books. In fact, I called, you know that woman that used to supply me, um, makeup thing? I called her with the money to start restocking and everything. 
What if the girl to come back much later? We said that I should bring that she doesn't really need the things that the guy bought for her. So she wants to bring them and I'll give her part of the money. So maybe like 400, I'll give her back 400 and I'll give 60. And I'm confused because I don't even know what to do now. She has been calling me. What do you think I should do? Judith. Judith! Hey! Uh -uh. I hate you now. Place. You know what? Just log it into the account and just trace it properly. Me, I'm out of the office already. Oh. I've got bigger fish to fry. I need to see a client, okay? You know what? Let me call you back, yeah? Yes, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Just check. Check properly. Now, who you be and now who you look for? I'm looking for your madam, Miss Judith. I need you to go in and call her for me. Eh? You say, make her go inside. Go call my madam for you. Eh? Yes. Bro, it's not very soon. I'm not insulting you. But I never see my madam relate with person like you, let alone person who get baby like Osama. Now you are insulting your madam's friend. Eh? Yes. Okay, you never use that one. You say my mother now you want to have you? Yes. Wait for you. Hi. Now with that. What are you doing here? I, uh, I, I, I saw you when... Um... Why did you let a stranger into my compound? Huh? Madam, in talks and be your friend. Will you shut up? Did you ask me before you allowed him in? My friend, get out of here! Come on, just take it easy on the young man. What do you want? I was just fixing my car by the roadside, and I saw you drove past, and I was like, hey, why don't I come in for a cup of water? Yeah. And you couldn't call me to find out if it's convenient for you to budge into my compound? I'm sorry on that. Come on, it's just a cup of water. Water it is, and you have just two minutes. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. 
How did you get to know my house? A goldfish has no hiding place, haven't you heard? Anyway, I was done fixing my car when you drove past, so I followed you. You know I could get you arrested for harassment and stalking, right? I could dare you lying for you if that's all it takes to keep up with a cute, smart, and evasive girl like you. Am I supposed to blush at that? If you choose to. <laughs> you don't give up, do you? I was trained not to. Mm. So what do you want? To get up close with you. It's not really up close. It's up open. open. Up close. See, Jide, I don't know how to explain it for you to understand, but in a nutshell, let's say I took to you the first time I stepped into your bank. I was charmed by this gentle but firm and lovely personality. Listen, Mr. Oscar. I don't know what you're thinking, but I want you to know that I'm a serious-minded, goal-oriented professional, and I value my time, which more or less does not give me the time to indulge in meaningless activities, such as dating a guy. Hmm, interesting. I understand the picture, and I guess this very serious-minded, goal-oriented personality stems from the pressure your official minded has put on you to meet some required target for some prospective update, right? Oh, how oh, nice. nice. Yeah, thanks. thanks. I can see you have been digging around. I don't need to dig. I am a resolute, versatile lawyer and I have my way around. Hmm. I'm beginning to like this guy. He seems to be going somewhere. I'll probably have to meet him halfway. Anyway, do you want me to offer you something else? I don't drink though. How about you? If you offer me a date? An exception to the rules. Hmm. Trying, trying to play smart, smart with, with me. me. I see six million here. Yeah. Six million. Because of the time and all, I was wondering when I could get the money. You know, to start with, it's uh, not entirely a bad budget. You know. What do you mean? See, Cleo, I have a lot of respect and admiration for people with very big dreams and aspirations. Right. But, um, <laughs> with what you've told me, I do not uh, think that six million naira would would do it. What were you thinking of for me? You told me that you would like to set up a multifunctional boutique. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I'm thinking that it has to be in a choice area. Yes. So that people can see it. Yes. And see you. Yes. Ah, uh, Cleo, what you have here won't do it. I am thinking that you go back and scale this up a little. 
All right. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, Lai. Okay, okay, I can do that. All right. Yes. So, you take this. Walk on it again. Take it up a notch. And then let's see what we can do. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. It has to be nice. Thank you. I'll go through this and I'll get the blueprints across to you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. trying to be funny and hit on the button, will you? Hmm, my lucky day. Now who the hell is this guy? I wish you can just introduce him and with your help, watch him to invest in my bank. I hope I am not taking a risk trying to help you, my darling. Hmm. What man doesn't? I beg, let's go there quickly, hmm? <sighs> let's go there, darling. Hmm? Did I just call you, darling? I pray you don't. Because I will set the whole world at risk for your sake. Me too. I may have nuts to crack. Remember? You know it's actually rude to stare at a lady, right? I'm sorry. I... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just... Uh... You know, I'm still trying to figure you out. Can we just stop all this romantic talk? Hmm? <laughs> you know, apart from your heart stand, I think you have a candid and humorous side to it, and I like it. <laughs> I really do. See? You are laughing too. <laughs> okay. So, you know about me and my career pursuits. So, what prospect do you offer? I have a big prospect. Very big prospect, but... But what? I have a friend, a very rich and wealthy friend. He's more like a silent millionaire than I manage some of his estates, small ones though, and properties. Yeah. So, he must be a multi-millionaire. He is. He, he has a weakness for women. It's natural. But that doesn't bother you. <laughs> Rondo has an addiction. He crones for slim and beautiful women like you, especially ones with brains. Hey, 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 hey. You don't think I'll sleep with him, do you? I... I have really been growing fond of you, Judith. There we go again. Please, Oscar, let's not start this again. Seriously, I want you to keep everything about my friend, Rondo. Strictly official. Trust me. Okay. But it's surprising though that you don't know who Rondo is, considering that he's very popular on the business front. You're right. I haven't heard that name before. Well, you're about to meet him. Okay. 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 Okay.
That one thing that made it worth your while. <laughs> I'll let you know after my meeting with Rondo. Okay. Thank you. You have a great day. Really cool. Ross, Ross. Really, really. You don't need that go to. Ha, bro. Ross, Ross. See, now this thing I don't talk about since. Since we don't they come for house, yeah, don't they pray seriously, make you and Madame click. You know why? I don't say anybody will try to put some sign for your gari. Make aeroplane where Miss Road. Chow up! Not only that though, I also tell you, see, eh? See, thunder will get the Jehovah. Take the fire out. Felix. Uh, eh? Felix. Felix. Uh, uh, come on, buddy, don't you stop talking nonsense. Madam. See, <laughs> he give me 10,000. No, no, but but uh, nobody don't dash me this kind of money before. <laughs> Bro, thank you. <laughs> bye bye, eh? that thing um you know when you're doing proposal that the second part that you put you know now um on on your excel there's one thing you projection thank you no 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 i don't want to break my head since thank you thank you no nothing nothing i'll call you after i'll call you after By God's grace, we're hoping. Let me you... introduce ourselves. What's your name, my dear? I'm Judith, sir. Judith? 
My name is Rondo. Nice to meet you, sir. And uh, this is my place. I can see, sir. Please. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir. Yes. I must say, you have a very great sense of style. And I must say, my dear, that you're a very beautiful woman. The hell she playing at? Hey. You better stay in your leech, Angel, and stop jumping about. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So how's the banking business? Oh, it's going well, sir. Yes, sir. Very well. Yes, it is, sir. Great. Um, Oscar here told me that you're a banker. That's why I asked. And he also spoke to me about your prospects. Yes, and I said that the prospect that she is looking for is... Uh, the lady was going to speak. Yeah, right? Yes, I am a banker, sir. So how is it going? How is the banking world? Everything is going fine, sir. We're doing well. Great. Let me ask you, what's um, the going rate on FD? I mean, for starters, I can I can start with you guys with a fixed deposit. So what are the rates looking like right now? Yes, sir. Actually, it depends on the volume deposited. It could go as high as 5%. Ah, that, that's... That's not so impressive. <laughs> I know, sir. But ROI is generally not looking good because of the fluctuating Forex exchange. But, sir, our bank is still the highest paying bank. Is it? Yes, sir. Good. I must tell you that you are a very, very intelligent woman. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll help you. <laughs> you know, Oscar here is, is my friend, even though he's refused to um, get as close as he should, you know. He takes care of my books on a few things that concern him. Yeah. But, um, you know, I'll help you as long as you're ready with your form. You know, you call me up and then we take it from there. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. So I'm very grateful. Um, but, sir, uh, I didn't come with my form because I didn't want to be forward. Oh. But I can actually bring it in. Uh, uh, yeah. it's, it's fine. Don't worry, I, I, sir, I will just the get the... The was still talking. You were saying? Yes, sir, I can, I can bring it to you anytime, sir. Oh, that's fine. Take your time. All right, as, long, as soon as you have it ready, you give me a call. You and I will schedule a proper meeting. All right? And then we'll talk. All right? You know what? I'll um, get my card, give it to you so you can call me directly. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Great. One second, please. Did, Did you, you just say, say that? God. Yes. Why the code of silence? Nothing, I'm just thinking. <laughs> You're thinking? Thinking about what? You've been silent since we left Rondo's house. Stop, just stop the car, stop. Just stop the car. Thank you. Oscar, what are you doing? Open the door and let me get out. Oscar! Chidika, I love you. I really do. What's the meaning of this? I... Why are you getting all emotional? I, I can't help myself, Judith. Please. Look at me, Judith. Please, look at me. Judith, look at me in the eyes and promise me that you will never betray me.
Why would I do that? You see, Judith, I, I took you to Rondo because I have respect for you. I deeply care for you and I want to be committed to everything I can to support your career. I, I don't want my affection and respect that I have for you to be in vain. I don't want all this to be in vain. So promise me that you will never betray me. My God, are we having some covenant here or what? Where's all of this coming from? Okay, I promise. Are we okay now? Sure. Good, let's go. You scared me. <laughs> Hello, babe. Ah, 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 wow. I've been trying to call you separately. You're not picking your calls, and then you're too busy to return your missed calls. Babe, sorry now. You know how this work thing is, eh? Sorry about that. You and work, Sha. Anyway, I'm coming to your house now, so just, just wait for me. Oh, no, I'm not at home yet. I'm actually with a friend. Ah. Uh, uh, which friend? You don't know him. Him? Who is this friend that I do not know? So, in all this your work, you finally found out time to hang out with man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Give me the gist. Babe, there's no gist, Jerry. This guy, don't try me. You must give me this gist too. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. I'll sure get the gist somehow. Anyways, I'll soon be home, okay? I'll see you. I'll call you. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, dear. I'll talk to you later. Who is that? Oh, my friend. She hasn't seen me for a while, so she's just checking up on me. Oh, okay. Fagged out. <laughs> so that your friend must have really drilled you. You and your dirty mind. Yeah. As if you don't have a dirty mind. Ah, give me gist, Joe. Gist? What about? <laughs> Please, there's no gist, I beg. Judith, one day you give me this. One day, one day, you give me this gist. Anyway, guess what? Guess, guess, guess. Tell me, what is it? project is about to kick off. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. I'm so happy for you. Thank you must be you. so excited. Oh my goodness, I am over the moon. I'm more than excited. Like, finally, I can have my expensive boutique in the choicest part of town. Oh, I'm Gosh. so happy for you. <laughs> I'm tired of this offer. Right <laughs> uh, but, Cleo. Yeah. You still haven't told me where the money's coming from. Judith, 
Yeah. Business is booming. Oh, oh, oh okay. Business. I'm selling. I mean, I've tracked okay. how many times to to, to to renew my stock. My, my my goods are going like I believe it's one of the shops around and not even selling. I'm doing so good. I'm so happy for you. Ah, it's all good, dude. It's just good. It's just good. I'm so happy. Ah. I need to go change, please. Mm -hmm. I'm exhausted. Yeah, let me call this my girl. Oh, uh, see you time I find the shop, man. Oh, stress. Mm. Yeah. You don't have the sushi and the mamashi. Sir, are you looking for someone? I'm to buy clothing now. I will shop. Okay, there's a store upstairs. Ah, store. And say, yes. I keep something in the store. It's not no, store. like a shop. I don't want to buy a store tank. I want, I want to shop in. Now, you, you don't have the baby beton. All of the things that I want to get in. You don't have. Maybe. So, uh, hang on. Just don't touch the first row. You, there's slippers down there. Oh. What? Me. This one. How much? How much this one? The price is inside there. Ah! <coughs> ah ah! It's shipping. It's not shipping. Ah. You, you, you have the PWD. What? PWD. The one he, he put in the. I want to. PWD. He put in the card. You touch it. POS. Uh -huh. POS. POS. You give Clara. me. Thank you. Give me. You give me this one. And this one. It's together. It's how much? The price is on that one, sir. To so combine the uh, combination. Now, you, you're removing the money for this one. And this one, the red, the purple. Calculation is an commodity. Oh my god, what is going on? What is supervisor paying? Okay. Is it savings or current? Sir? It's current. Ah, small picking using saving. Big man. Current. Current champion. Put your pin, sir. Where's your eyes, I don't want a banjo to happen to me, you no? Know? This is banjo. Nine. Ah, I talk. <laughs> I talk it. I'm on their times. I know. Shake it, shake it. You see when somebody is go to a level sheet, you see your money to pour champagne. You see your money to do the poor pussy. Yes, sir. You saw the money. Yes, sir. Now you are star for me. <laughs> no star for me. No, sir. And now I can I can, can make all you a baby. Yes, sir. Every day, every yes, sir. Sir, we have this in red as well. Sir. Red? Yes, sir. Okay, give me the red. You want the red? Yes. Sir. You're not getting the rainbow color. Um, well there's uh there's gold and blue. Sir, okay. we have um, a gold one. Sir, do you like this? Yes, so Can I get someone to help me buy a mala? Yes. Okay, it's right. Yes, on. Clara! Yes, sir. Come and buy a mala. Okay. Sir, don't. Uh -huh. And malt. Okay. Sir, sit down. Okay. I don't like to sit in. I don't, I'm a business somebody. Sir, do you want malt? Uh uh. No. You want to eat a mala too? Me and you eating the mala here. Yeah. We're talking business, so. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Bring malt. Sir, sir, we have belts. Belly tea. Yes, sir. Hello? Hey, good morning, beautiful. Hi, good morning. Yes, I am calling to find out the time you'll be going to run this place. Would that be necessary? Well, it's not like I'm trying to impose myself, but I just wanted to be around if you want. But anyways, if you want to, uh, well, I can't stop you from being there since you're the one who introduced me to him. I'm probably sounding overprotective, right? It's okay. Um, just try and call me as soon as you can, okay? Okay. That sounds okay. I love you.
First of all, I'd like to say that I appreciate you coming around. Thank you, sir. And like I hinted the first time you came here with my friend, I told you that I will help you. I'd like you to know that by all standards, I'm quite aware of what young, beautiful bankers like you go through on a daily basis to meet what I choose to call the outrageous targets set by the bank management, which in my opinion, by the way, is an act of selfishness and wickedness. Because real money is not made off the sweat and blood of other people. Real money is made on the premise of hard work and one's own smartness. Uh, so on the grounds of that, I will help you. I will make an investment. Thank you, sir. Here's the phone, sir. Uh, okay. You have your phone today. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. We have feel the phone. Just, just feel it, feel it, feel the phone. Sir, do you want a pen? <laughs> Okay, I will go through this and you will have to come back here in a few days to get it. Thank you, sir. Judith. Sir? You are a very beautiful woman. Thank you, sir. Very hardworking. And I will do everything within my power to encourage you. So I am going to start with an investment of 50 million naira. Somebody please <laughs> hold me. I'm drifting into oblivion. Thank you, sir. This is quite impressive. Yes! Now I can reach for the sky. Whew. Thank you so much, Rondo. I will never forget this. Thank you. You would have to give me some time, though. This would um, take a while. A few things that I would need to put in place, Cleo. How much longer do I have to wait? I don't know, but uh, it just might take a while. All right? When it comes to money matters, clear. It takes a while to resolve. Okay? Especially when it's big money. Oh, come on, Rondo. This is. 12 million naira, this is nothing to you, is it? You can say that. But in this case, 12 million is a lot of money. Can I? Thank you.
Naira. Mm -hmm. That is outrageous. Hmm. I thought so too. I just couldn't phantom it. I tried to call you, but my two phones were dead. I'm still trying to get off from the shock. Hmm. Oscar, hmm? what do you think about it? About what? The money? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I still can't believe my ears. I mean, 50 million naira is one hair of a fortune. But the question is, why would he decide to give you the money instead of investing it into your bank? Why won't you? Just pray that man pays me the money. Let him give me the money first. Do you think he'll actually give me the money? <laughs> Rondo, do you know how much that guy is worth? It's simply mind-blowing. That guy is damn rich, my dear. I am, I am happy for you. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, thanks to you. Thank you. You know, I didn't reckon you would come. Uh, well, I thought I owe you that much, sir. Judith, can we do without a sir? My name is Rondo. Just call me Rondo. I don't like titles or tags and, or such appellations. I think it's a distraction. All right? I like to keep it cool, simple and effective. That's my style. Call me Rondo. Hmm? Okay, sir. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Rondo. Much better. Rondo. Okay. Rondo. You promised to open an account to help me meet my target. Tell me about yourself, Judith. Oh no, hmm? no. Please, Please don't, don't spoil, spoil this party. party. Tell me about you. Please don't let me run out in shame, I beg you. Sorry, I don't get it. <laughs> But you know what? I do not want you to think that I lured you here for the promise, so. Here. There's a check for 50 million naira. As promised by me. And agreed by both of us. So now whether you believe it or not, that check is open. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, sir. All right, so chatting with me, Judith, is a decision that is up to you to make. And I will respect it. No, it's okay, sir. I'll oblige. All right, that would be nice. Um, well, I'm from a middle-class family. Okay. My older brother lives in Abuja with his family. Oh, all right. So, um, how many siblings? It's just two of us. Really? So that makes you the baby of the family now, right? Well, you can say that, <laughs> but not until my nieces came and detrued me. <laughs> they sure did, huh? Yes, they did. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> so, I was asking about you. You look like a spoiled only child. Nah, far from it. Far from it. I come from a polygamous home. You know, my father had four wives. We were very poor. But I must tell you this. I commend my father for the love and unity that he ensured that we enjoyed at the time. You know. We <laughs> were closely knit. We were one big indivisible family and you know from all of that came this aspiration for wealth mm. okay <laughs> and the pills what 
What's the aspiration for the place? I know it's <laughs> it's nothing really. I mean, it's it's just something that helps me relax. You know. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What do you like to do for fun when you're not working? I go to the movies. Okay. Oh God. I'm so, so confused right now. What sort of a dilemma is this? Why is Rondo asking me to marry him? I'm not ready to commit to any man, let alone... Oh, God. Mm. Hello? Hello, baby. I'm just calling to know how you're doing. I'm fine, thank you. Babe, are you okay? No, 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 you don't need to bother. Oscar, I'm fine. I'm just a bit tired. Are you sure? Because you don't sound fine to me. Where are you? I said I am fine. I'm just tired and, you know, from work and all that. So I just need to rest. I'm fine. And you expect me to believe that? Thank you.
Oscar, what is it? What's the urgency about? Yes, I'm worried about your safety. And that's why I called you. What are you talking about? I know you and Rondo have been meeting and it's dangerous. Believe me, it is. Why are you driving to with all of this? To your safety. Have you ever wondered where a man who just gives you 50 million gets his money from? Obviously, no. You see, Rondo have this NGO, which sadly I am part of, that he used to execute deadly and dirty deals, ranging from human trafficking, drugs, oil bunkery, hijacking, you name it. And I know that once you become dear to Rondo, his allies, angry allies, will adopt you. Oscar, you're just saying all of this because you like me. Of course, I'm not denying the fact that I like you, but that's not why I am saying this right now. I'm saying this because of your safety. If Rondo have any serious thing to do with you and his partner realize that, you will be abducted and used as a bait. I know it doesn't end well. And that's why I'm saying all of this. Oh, you think I'm lying? Oscar, you're lying. Why? You're lying! I am. Oscar, you're lying! I am not lying. You're lying. I'm saying all of this because I. You are lying. Lying. I love you. any trouble. Oh, what do you mean you don't want any trouble? What are you talking about? Speak to me. This is, I know you. This, this is not you. What's the problem? Oscar. Oscar, yes. What about him? Oscar told me some things about you. He said that all of this, your money, the cars, that you got them through shady deals. Really? <sighs> Is that all you have to say? Okay. Judith. See, all of this, like you put it, hard work, focus, dedication. But did I go offline at some point, I made some enemies and did a few things that I'm not particularly proud of. Oh yeah, I'm human. I'm not infallible. I'm not 
were perfect. Yes. But Oscar? Is he innocent? Ah. <laughs> I don't think so. Oscar manages my affairs, takes care of my books, but he does not know. But I know that he steals from me. But then it's okay. I'm not worried. Because I look at him and I can tell that he needs it. I let it go. Oscar has a family that practically leaves off me and he thinks that I don't know. But I know. But you know what? It does not matter to me. Because I am blessed to give. For the good book tells us that it is better to give than to receive. I run a scholarship scheme where I provide shelter for the homeless. His family lives in one of my houses. I took time to set up scholarship programs for children who need proper education. His kids are under that scheme. Oscar gets involved in shady deals all the time. I see through all of that. I look at him, I smile, because I feel that he needs it. Yet he thinks that I do not know. And then he has the temerity to come run me down in front of you. I am a man who's focused so much to work hard and succeed in life. But am I perfect? I am not a perfect man. This is me. Make up your mind. What are you talking about? Oscar. Oscar. How dare you? Oh, so you really, really think you could just run to Rondo and he'll help you? Cleo. So that's where all the money is coming from. Hmm? And then you told me it was business, business was booming. Judith, you should be ashamed of yourself. How? You should be the one ashamed of yourself, darling. Really? Yes. Asking or living of a man that you're not even married to. Oh, is that why you think that you can take him from me? Why well, you think you are better than me? Is that what you think, Judith? I didn't say that. And... I'm not taking him from you. Listen, Cleo. Oh, you think that all this is, is, is Miss Cole? Let me tell you exactly what would happen. He would use you and dump you afterwards. Do you understand me? <laughs> the same way he used you and dumped you, right? You know what? Say whatever it is that you want. Say whatever you want. But let me give you a note of warning. Stay away from my man. Cleo, you know okay? what? I'm, I can't do all of this. It's too early. If we cannot talk like two civilized people, then I'm sorry. I can't do this. Have you been civilized? You're not even going anywhere. Have you behaved like a civilized friend? Have you? Mother. You want to stay away from this? Mother, 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 mother. You want to go and I'm take my mother. man? Mother, calm down. You think ah, you can go you? behind me and take my mother, man? Relax. Now. You never what sort like of that. friend are you? Ah. Don't yeah. touch me. Ah. You beat me, John. Take your dog away from me. Leave me alone. Make the world feel the doing better. But deep down, the just pretending. Fake it. I, I, I don't know what came over me. I, I was, 
I was upset and I went to confront her. No, you fought her. Oh, no. No, you went and you fought her. That's what you did. I was, I was trying to protect what we have. What we have? I don't want any... What do you think we have, Claire? I know I feel it and... I feel it, Rondo, and I know that you feel it too. I... I don't want anyone to come between us and... I'm really sorry. It wouldn't happen again. Please. It sure would not happen again, because you and I are done, Claire. No, no, please. Please don't do this, please. I beg you. Please. I, I whatever it is that I have done, please just just forgive me, please. I can't I, I can't even imagine my life without you, please. Cleo. What you and I had was good. While it lasted. We had great times, no doubt. But I'm done. Please. Henceforth, I have decided to live differently. And Judith sits quite well with the kind of life that I want to live right now. You might not want to hear this, but I'll tell you. I intend to marry that woman and make her my wife. Because I, mean, I genuinely love her. You can have any other girl. Or, or, or I mean, you, you, you can just continue. Cleo, to... Cleo. For what it's worth, you and I were good to each other. Yes. Yes. But I have to go. <laughs> I'll have my accountant call you first thing in the morning and I'll make a transfer to your account. For all your worries, for all the time that you spent with me. So that you can start all over again. Find something fulfilling to do with yourself. Trust me. What you would get from me will be worth it. Okay? Wasn't sex great? I have to go, Cleo. Did I say something? Did I, did I do something? Please. Oh no, please. Please, if I did anything. You didn't call to say you're coming. That's not important. I rather came to see you on a very serious matter. Serious? How serious? Money? It's about Judith. What about Judith? Is she alright? Rondo, you remember the first time I came with that girl here to, to meet with you? I told you in confidence that I like this girl, that I love her, and that this is a girl I want to marry. How much? What? Name your price, Oscar, because I intend to buy her off you. How much? Rondo, how can you possibly say that? I love Judith. 
and I will not compromise that for any amount of money. <laughs> I will not. You will not compromise. I like. I like people who refuse to compromise their part. Because that is a sure attitude to becoming successful in life. I like it. And that is why, Oscar, I am not going to compromise to death for you. But you see, in your best interest, I have decided to make an offer of six million for you to let her go. Have I, Rundo? This is not fair now. I mean, is it because you have the money and the power? Seven million, Oscar. No, no, Rondo, this, this is not fair. Would you rather compromise our friendship for money? Eight million. You know, Rondo, you need to stop this for God's sake. What is wrong with you? I am not going to give up Judith for any amount in the world. Is it, is it because you're rich? Is it because you're powerful? Is it because you're wealthy and I'm not? You know what? I. I have integrity and with you and all your money cannot mess up with my ego and pride, okay? I will not let Judith go for any amount of money. So damn you, damn your money, damn your fucking friendship. Judith is mine and I am not letting anyone in the world take her away from me, not even you. You want to bet? Gonna make the world feel the doing better But deep down the just pretend it <laughs> To me, you're scaring me. Judith. Hmm? This is me. What do you mean? I'm sick. And I'm dying. No. 
Yes. I... I have less than a year to leave. I was diagnosed of this ailment. Uh, almost a year ago. Since then, I've been counting down, you know. At first, it was... It was painful to accept. To accept the fact that a life that I have worked so hard to live very well will be cut short so soon, but... I wish there was something that I could do about it. Judith, ever since I accepted this fate, I my life has turned around. I have stopped living for myself and I have started living for you. Because it is obvious that after my stay here and I ascend to the great beyond. I am not going to go with this wealth and all of this affluence now. So I have a lot of NGOs that I have set up. I, I have foundations that, you know, was set up just to shelter people. I have a lot of students on scholarship of my payroll. I have a lot of people that I take care of. I have come to accept that it is time that I I give back to, to life what it has blessed me with. <sighs> you know, you once asked me why I'm not married. This is why. What is the point in making someone else's daughter a widow? Why would I bring a woman into my life, make her my wife? And then leave her in a few months? But the thing is, from the moment I met you, Judith, I said I wish you were hoping that I had more time. I said, I wish you could hope that you and I had more time to explore this beautiful thing that you and I have found. Because I really love you, you know. I, I love you so much. <laughs> no. But even as I go, I am going to take solace in the fact that I that I got a chance to meet you. <laughs> I love you. Judith. But I have ALS. <laughs> What's ALS? Amyotrophic lateral cirrhosis. It's a disease that affects the nerve cells and the brain and spinal cord. He eats you up every day. No. Hey. No. Hey. No. Tell me it's not true. Come. No, tell me. Come. Tell me. It's, it's okay. No, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Things are not the way they seem to be. 
He was such a good man. Nothing gives him joy like the smiles he put on these children's faces. He, he was like their dream come true. I'm really sorry. Thank you for the condolence. I don't mean to bother you, but he has this uh, commitment with the NGO. You know, the scholarship supplies for those kids and for some of them who needs medical attention. I came to inform you that this is September. We need to renew their supplies. We need to pay up so that those kids will go back to school. And other things. I'm sorry. Walter was a good man. Yes, he was. He loved and cared for anyone and everyone he came across. True that. True. Rondo was willing to give everyone a shoulder to lean on. Hmm. Rondo was there for you. <laughs> sure. Always. Rondo took care of your four kids. Yes. He told me. He knew everything while he was alive. He knew how you were stealing from him. But he just let you be because he was a good man. He saw it as his own way of giving back to the society. And your wife that you have been hiding? Rondo also took care of her. How wicked can you be, Oscar? Even in his death. to rip him off. Have you no heart, Oscar? It's the children. Keep quiet. <sighs> Indeed. The devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Rondo is gone, but all you think about is how to extort more money from him. With your lies, 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 and lies. I should get you arrested. Rondo wouldn't want that. Get out. Mm. Get out of my house. Get out of my house before I call the police. Get out. Get out. Oscar. Mm. Make sure in the next 24 hours, you leave that house. And you'll be hearing from my lawyers soon. Competent lawyers. Get out.
do it.